up on my favorite months of the entire year. And since we're past July, I figured technically it's fall, right? So we might as well start decorating for this beautiful autumn season. I have some awesome DIYs planned for you today. super simple project we are going to take some pumpkins that are pretty plain and we're going to turn them into some show stocking decor pieces my inspiration began on a trip to Hobby Lobby they had all of their beautiful fall items out and the week that I went it happened to be 40% off all of the fall decor pieces which was so lucky for me I picked up several velvet pumpkins in a variety of shapes and colors. I chose ivory, champagne, and some gold pumpkins in a small and medium size. I love how neutral these colors are, but they were a little plain, and so we're going to take them to the next level by adding some embellishments. I picked up some floral lace and some trim at Hobby Lobby, and it was also on sale. So I got a yard of each of these trim pieces. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to wrap it around the base of the stem. To hold the lace in place, I'm going to be using a corsage pin. These are beautiful because it has a pearl which matches with the lace detail. And also because I'm using a corsage pin, it's not going to be a permanent fix. I can take these lace pieces off if I wanted to later on and just have my plain pumpkin once again. About every half inch, I added a corsage pin. I just poked it through the lace and into the soft, pillowy, beanbag pumpkin and it held it right in place. So I continued to do this until the lace was all around the base of the stem. Now, once I got done adding the lace, I looked at the stem and it was really green. It was too green. And so we needed to tone that down just a little bit. So what I did was I got some rub and buff and a tissue, and I just simply rubbed this gold rub and buff on the stem, which toned down that green stem and the gold will now coordinate with the other stems that are on my other pumpkin. The addition of this gold highlight was just what this pumpkin stem needed to upgrade the entire look of the pumpkin. So now that we have this pretty pumpkin all decked out, we're going to move on to our second pumpkin. Now on this pumpkin, what I did was I took that floral trim and what I did with this was I cut a segment of three flowers. Then I got my corsage pin, poked it through the top of the ribbon and then pressed it into my pumpkin. My next segment consisted of two flowers. I did the same thing. I put my corsage pin through the top and then straight into the pumpkin. Then I simply repeated this process of cutting the three segments of flowers, adding them to the pumpkin, cutting the two segments of flower, adding them to the pumpkin until the entire top of the pumpkin had been covered in these beautiful floral trim pieces. Now I have to admit, I absolutely love the way that this pumpkin turned out. Oh, these dainty little floral pieces. It's just what this needed. It's so feminine and the detail enhances the beauty of this pumpkin. Now that we have our big pumpkins beautified, we are going to move on to our mini pumpkins. I had some leftover trim of these beautiful florals and I just added a singular flower to each of my mini pumpkins. I poked the corsage pin through the center of the flower right where the pearls are clustered and then poked it straight into my pumpkin. I think this one little flower is just enough detail for these little pumpkins. It does not overwhelm them because they are small, but the additional trim coordinates all of my pumpkins together and gives it that additional detail that these pumpkins needed. 
easy, affordable, anyone can do this. And all we did was we just took some trim and we added it to a pumpkin just to make it pretty and custom. I love the way these look. These are perfect for my tablescape. Now we are going to do a trash to treasure. into this house it was semi-furnished and some of the pieces that were left behind were not my style so I just put them into a closet and they've just been there so every now and again I go through and I see what I can find that I feel like I can upgrade well this vase right here was one of those pieces that was hiding in a closet that needs an upgrade what it looks like before was something pulled out of the safari, something that's perfect for Florida, it looks like a, a gator, but it's not going to coordinate with my style. Don't you worry, that's an easy fix. What I'm gonna do is I'm taking it outside and I'm going to spray paint it in some white gloss or stoling spray paint. I made sure the entire base was covered in this white gloss spray paint. I let the first coat dry for one hour. Then I came back and did a second coat of paint to make sure that everything was completely coated in the paint and that there were no traces of the crocodile safari green original color left behind. Once it was all covered up, I let it dry completely, which took two hours. Already it's a dramatic makeover and this space is going to be perfect with so many different seasons, holidays, and decor ideas. Well, what we're gonna do with it today is we're going to add a gorgeous flower arrangement to it. Now let's go back to Hobby Lobby and rummage through their florals. They had a huge variety of fall florals and leaves out. And so I picked up these beautiful leaves. What I loved about these particular leaves is that they were pretty neutral. They're like a soft sage color. And I knew that they would be perfect for this floral arrangement. I also found a pick that had a pumpkin on it and some leaves that coordinated with my sage colored stems. So I got all those and I brought them home. So let's create our floral arrangement. We're gonna start off with some scotch tape. We're gonna make my tape grid. So I did two lines vertically and two lines horizontally with this scotch tape. We're gonna start off with my beautiful sage colored leaves. I took the stems and I bent them to the size that I wanted for my arrangement and then I placed them inside of my tape grid. Next I moved on to my gold sticks and I added those to the tape grid as well. Then I had these beautiful gold magnolia leaves so I placed those in there. I really like the metallic sheen it's going to add to this arrangement. Then I moved on to the white peonies. I had a few bunches of these that I added to the base and then I added a cream stem that had some feathers on it. And then finally I placed my pumpkin stem right in the center. Oh, how I love this floral arrangement. It is so perfect for fall. Again, it's a neutral piece that doesn't scream, hey, it's fall in those jeweled tones. It's very subtle and I love the color palette. The pumpkin in the center takes it over the top autumn and the florals and leaves look stunning inside our newly upgraded vase. I love the size of this arrangement. It's very grand and is definitely a statement piece. Another Hobby Lobby score was this jar right here. I found it in the clearance section and originally it was $30, but it had been reduced down to $7.49, which was a fantastic deal for this beautiful jar. I love a good bargain. And what we're going to do to this jar is jazz it up just a little bit. I created an autumn decal and I had my Cricut maker cut it out in some removable white vinyl. I placed this decal in the center of my glass jar. 
I use my scraper tool to press it firmly to the glass. You have to make sure that all of the edges are stuck really well to the glass jar because when we go to add our etching cream, which is what we're going to do in just a minute, you want to make sure that each of the edges are sealed tightly to the glass jar so that the etching cream doesn't seep underneath. Once I had my decal in place, I got out my etching cream and a paintbrush and I painted on a thick layer of this etching cream. I added the cream to all of the exposed areas on this autumn design. You want to make sure that everything is covered in the etching cream. If there are parts that you missed, it will be really visible. So make sure that everything is covered up really well. I let my cream stay on the glass for at least 10 minutes. I've done it less time in the past and the design isn't as etched in there. So I leave mine on for at least 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes had passed, I am now going to save my etching cream. Yeah, I'm gonna save it. So I got my paintbrush and I simply just scraped off that excess etching cream and put it right back into the bottle. You can save yourself so much money by simply saving your etching cream. I have had this bottle for years and I just reuse the etching cream over and over and over again. So once I had enough of the etching cream removed from my jar, I washed off the excess. Now I did use my gloved up hand to wipe it gently away. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you wear gloves when you're working with this etching cream because it is a harmful substance. Once all of that excess cream was washed off, I dried it and now I can remove the removable vinyl. So I just pulled all of that vinyl off of my jar I love the way that this looks. It's such a subtle design that you'd have to look for it, but when you saw it, you would appreciate how beautiful it is. We took a $7.50 clearance item that was pretty plain and boring and added a subtle fall detail, which makes it coordinate with all of my fall pieces. It's the little details that count when it comes to creating a successful display. After my very successful trip to Hobby Lobby, I thought I would stop at the Dollar Tree on the way home and I found these adorable acorns and pine cones ceramic pieces. I thought they were so pretty, so I grabbed a couple of them. The metallic copper that's on the pine cones and the acorns is not going to fit into this particular design. But again, that's such an easy fix. You can change anything to fit into your color scheme. All you need to do is get a little bit of spray paint, which is what I did. I took my pine cones and my acorns outside and I sprayed them in some metallic gold Rust-Oleum spray paint. I made sure that the acorns and the pine cones were completely covered in the spray paint. Then I let them dry for an hour. I came back, I flipped them over, and I spray painted the top of these pieces. Once they were completely covered in the paint, I let them dry for another hour. These cute little decor pieces are a wonderful addition to my glass jars. They add a subtle and beautiful element of fall. And finally, right here in the center, I created a printable and I added it to my mirrored frame. I kept this printable simple and clean. We have a lot of other things going on on our tabletop, so I wanted to make sure that this was a streamlined piece. Plus, I love this message and I didn't want many things to detract from it. If you like this printable, I will leave a link in my description box so you can print it off at home and have it for yourself. Other elements that I have placed on my tabletop are a marble riser, which I placed my etched jar onto. 
I also added another coordinating glass jar next to it, which I filled with the same Dollar Tree acorns and pine cones. I wrapped the glass beaded garland around the top of the large jar. Then I put this pretty little pumpkin on top of a cake stand. And then I added one of my mini pumpkins on top of a cupcake stand. And then I also placed some gold magnolia leaves in various places around the tabletop. I am so delighted with the way that this display all came together. It has an element of fall and autumn, a warm feeling, a very welcoming feeling. All of the pieces that we made today were extremely affordable and they look so high end. If you're trying to decorate your home for the changing holidays and seasons on a budget, these are great options for you because they're not going to break the bank. Plus they are so beautiful and would fit in with every color scheme and style. I hope you got some inspiration or some design ideas today that will help you start decorating for fall. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much for watching.